Hey guys, this is Jasmine and you're watching M&J Games. Today I wanted to show you a little tutorial about scenery around your flat rides. Um, this is something that I feel like I've gotten a better handle on and I thought I might share a little bit of my wisdom. So thanks for watching. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is place our entrance and exit. I like to place them pretty close to each other just because I like to join those paths. So, you know, throughout the game, there's a lot of paths and they do take up a lot of um, the Oswald meter. So if you are like me, you might want to save as much path as possible. And so I like to connect my entrance to my exit path just so that my exit path is working a little bit harder. So um, what you want to do is place your um, your queue line around your flat ride. So I just like to do it that way so that my queue line is not in a straight line. Next, uh, what I would do is I would use one of these large flower bushes. I like to use these petunia ones. Um, here I'm kind of showing some different options you could go with. Um, but these petunia ones are pretty big and they, they just look a little cleaner and that's why I like to use them. So I'm just um, going to use them to uh, encircle, <laughs> I don't think that's a word, but I'm just gonna use them um, right around the railing to my ride and um excuse me and then the next thing i'm going to do is find a, another plant um or bush or whatever that is a similar height it doesn't have to be that way but that's just how i like to do it and i'm going to use these um these tall i'm sorry i forgot what this oh it's called the a yellow flower bush floral bush I'm using that one and I just changed the color to be lavender just so that um, it's uh, it's a similar color to the petunia uh, bush that I have placed down. So I'm just showing you a few options here on where you could place these. You could place them right next to your petunia bush or you could place them on the railing of the queue line. It's up to you. I decided to place them around uh, the railing for the queue line. So I'm just doing that um, and I'm also rotating the flowers as I do them. You don't necessarily have to rotate every single one, but it's, it's, uh, it's a good thing to do just so that your flowers don't look exactly the same. Um, that's just one of those things that you can do to make, to make it a little bit more realistic. Uh, in real life, you obviously can't have plants that are exactly the same, that are perfectly lined up. It just doesn't happen. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm placing that green leafy bush around. I love that bush. It's my absolute favorite. And then I'm placing a smaller um, flower. I think that's the gladiolus one. Um, the only reason I placed that one was just because it was pink and it went along with my colors. So now I'm placing my trees. Um, I really love the deciduous trees. I like any, any of those trees. Um, but I'm making sure that my trees aren't super tall or um, super huge. I'm placing the oak tree. Uh, just because I like to place that one so that it gives a little bit of shade to our little guests in the park. Um, shade is really not something that we have to worry about in the game, but it is something that you might want to think about just because, you know, usually when people are visiting a park, it's super hot outside. So we want to provide a little bit of shade. So now what I'm doing is I'm showing you a few lights that I like to use. Um, I like to use lamp posts, the tall ones. Um, and I'm just showing you a few options. And then this is my favorite one, this lantern tower. Um, this is one that I didn't like at first because I thought it was a little too um, corny. <laughs> But once I realized that the, um, the light that it gives off is a glow, a soft glow, I really love using that one. So that's basically the gist of um, these circular 
uh, flat ride. You can also, um, I, I don't think, because the, the video is going so fast, um, my scenery was at 90% at this point. But in order to get to the 100, you could add more plants, you could add a sign. I'm just showing you a quick way you can make a sign, uh, a sign really quick. Um, I really love these fairy tale columns. I just think they're so cute. Um, and I try to cover up the little ticket, um, the little ticket entrance, but it's, it's not a necessity. You don't have to do that. That's just one thing that I do like to do. Um, and I love using the Western, uh, wooden signs just because I think they, they come in a lot of, um, different shapes and they have these different details on them that are just really cute that the other signs like the miscellaneous ones, they don't necessarily have those, those, um, details on. So I just selected one. I'm placing it, uh, I'm trying to place it uh, as straight as I can onto my columns. It really, it didn't work out that great, but it's just as an example, just to show you something you could do really quick um, for your your ride. So um, I'm just I'm just making the, um, the wording and that's it. So now I am showing you a rectangular flat ride. We're going with the, I think this is the Insanity one. So um, what I like to do is use the select grid option for these. Uh, just because your ride is rectangular, um, it's probably a good idea to have that grid on uh, for your path just so it's more uniform. Like with the circular rides, obviously if you are placing a path around your ride, you wouldn't necessarily wanna use the grid option on that one because it's a circular ride. But we're on the rectangular one, we can use this, the, the grid on that. And um, anyway, that's just one way you can do it. I'm also placing some plants. I really love the jungle plants. And I'm also placing this red leafy bush just to give it a little bit more contrast. And then I'm placing this red uh, floral bush as well. I like to lower these a little bit because they are rather large. <laughs> um, and that's a very quick way you can make your, um, your cue line pretty on a rectangular um, uh, rectangular flat, I couldn't think of the word flat, rectangular flat ride. So the next thing, I'm just going to make a, a quick uh, cue covering. Um, what I like to do is I like to use these wall pieces just as a guide for some columns. Um, you don't, you could skip this uh, step if you want to. This is just one thing that I like to do. So I'm just trying to pick out some columns here um, and I went with this classic brick one. Um, this is a column that does not snap to the grid. So you have to be careful. I'm really glad I had my wall <laughs> uh, placed there just so I could um, get an idea on where I wanted to place uh, my columns. So I'm just trying to figure out um, how far apart I want them to be. Um, you need to make sure that you have that, um, I think it's the snap or what is it, the move snap setting on so you can make sure that your columns are, um, are are the same width apart. So right here, my columns weren't lining up with my wall. It took me a while to figure out exactly what I wanted to do, but, um, but eventually I figured it out. But there are some, uh, sometimes, you know, you just kind of have to accept the fact that uh, your columns may not be perfect um, and you'll see the end result. It may not necessarily be perfect, but it still looks good. And at the end of the day, we want our our, um, our flat rides to have that <laughs> to have that 100% um, scenery scenery rating. So um, I'm just placing the columns. I'm trying to place them as close as I can to line up with my wall. Then I'm getting rid of the wall, and then I'm going to go back. And um, I'm trying to find a roof. I did work with this glass canopy at first, and then I was like, nope, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> so um, I, I eventually settled on that metal walkway one, um, just because I think that one, that one is like one of my favorites to use, um, especially 
on cue coverings just because I like that it has kind of an opening on on top so it gives it's it's a little bit um uh I, I keep thinking of the word breathable it's not really breathable but it has a little bit of an opening on top so I really like that so I placed that and then I went back and I added a second uh, row of columns just so that it could have a little bit more structure. Um, and then I had to make sure that my columns weren't uh, interfering with the actual cue, right? So um, some, some of them you do have to use the split from building um, just to make sure that they aren't, um, they aren't impeding your, your cue. Um, and then I realized I need to lower everything a little bit because I had some columns that were floating, <laughs> that were floating. So I had to lower everything down. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, okay, gosh, that's a lot of talking. <laughs> that's a lot of talking. So um, I'm lowering everything down and then I'm just trying to line everything up a little bit better. Um, yeah, so I have a little bit of a gap in the back on this side. I moved those over and then I expanded my um, my cue line a little bit. You'll see that in a second. And then it, it just, it looks, it looks great. And then I just added one more to the corner, um, to the corners because obviously you would need that. <laughs> so it's a little bit off center. It's not perfect but it looks great. So you, um, you can do it that way. Use that split from building and you will be peachy. I don't know what I'm doing right now. What is happening? Okay. <laughs> I think I was looking at like the scenery or something. Anyway, so I added one more, um, of that, uh, ceiling, that roof. And now, so you can see now I'm expanding my queue a little bit. And then I just moved over um, a few of those bushes and then I copied them and then to fill up that part. So then um, once that's done, I'm just placing a few trees. Um, I really, I guess I'm going for like a tropical thing on this ride since my, since I use those jungle, <laughs> jungle bushes or jungle plants or whatever. So, um, I placed a few beech trees, uh, and then I'm trying to figure out lighting. So you have a few options. Um, you can use a tall lamppost. So I'm placing that down. Usually I place them on the corners and I like to place them sort of in the middle, uh, in between the columns. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Some people like to have them perfectly lined up. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> and I do like to have them like some of them are at the entrance. There's two at the exit. But um, this last part, I'm just showing you how you could place uh, a wall, um, a, a, a wall light. Uh, you can do that as an option as well. Um, I think I chose, which one did I choose? Um, yeah, this black, uh, what is that? Some kind of lantern. Oh, storm lantern. Yeah, so you could do it that way. It's up to you on, on how, how you want to do it. Um, but that's basically it. So this is the end result. I really hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. Um, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more Planet Coaster content. Until then, I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time.